Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Ange. This channel is called Frugal, where I am documenting our family's journey to becoming debt-free. In today's video, these are always my most popular videos each month, as I am actually gonna go in depth and we are going to stuff some envelopes. I'm gonna show you guys what we did with our excess money and how we budgeted that out after we paid our fixed and variable bills. And also gonna update you guys on our sinking funds or savings goals for 2020. But yes, this is a September 2020 kind of budget breakdown and stuffing cash envelopes. It's kind of like a budget with me video. But I am gonna stuff some cash envelopes and walk you through that. I am gonna walk you through how we budgeted our excess money after we paid off all of our bills for the month, and I'm gonna update you on our sinking funds. Let's start with cash envelopes. Now, I explained this in my video I posted earlier this week. I did more of a how we set up our budget 2020 video, which I will link right now. I am gonna go into the cash envelope section of our budget, because I wanna stuff some envelopes first. We normally have just four cash envelopes each month for our personal money. One for my husband, one for myself, one for the kids, and one for the pets. Phil gets $50 for every Monday in the pay period. So there's four Mondays in the August 25th through September 24th pay period. He gets 200. So let's go ahead and do his envelope first. Here's his envelope. My husband prefers 50. So I always make sure that I get $50 for him for each Monday out of the month. So he can just grab it and go. Four fifties, which if I did my math right is $200. All right, so four fifties for Phil. He is set. Next up, I give myself $20 a month, which is just an amount that I feel comfortable doing right now. I don't need a lot of money, guys. I just need enough for a few fancy copies and a book or a nice bottle of wine. That's all I need. That's all I need in this life. Envelope. Oh, no money in there from the previous month. They do have a few gift cards though, which is bomb. My envelope is done. Next up are the kids. They get $20 a piece a month, like their mama. So $40 total. Already have some money still left over in there. Kids are done. And then our last regular cash envelope is our pets and they also get $20 a piece. I don't even remember last time we used the pet envelope. That's more for like grooming fees or for if there's an emergency vet trip. It's kind of like a pet sinking fund that we use their personal money for. I just like to save $40 a month just in case something pops up. For babies, yeah, there's the 40. As you can see, there's quite a bit of money in there, so, but my dog definitely is overdue for a grooming appointment, so I should probably book that pretty soon. It's done. Then what I do after I go through and do all the cash envelopes is I go ahead and highlight each of our names so I know that I already double checked that amount and then I also refill it out. That, that way there's no doubt in my mind that all the money got put in the right envelope. All done. As you guys can see, I have some money left over because we have two new cash envelopes that we are welcoming into our cash envelope family. God, I'm a nerd. God, I'm a nerd. My husband's going on a camping trip, so we want to put some money aside for that. And we settled for food, for drinks, for camping supplies, that kind of thing. As you guys can see, because you know me, I, I, I'm i frugal as all get out. It used This used to be a car envelope, but I changed it into a camping. We settled on the amount of $300 from this paycheck to take to get camping supplies for his camping trip. So $300, have that right there. Again, my husband loves 50s. 100 100 200, 300. Camping envelope done. I was not planning on this today, but I made a Facebook Marketplace sale. I desperately need to start saving up to get my hair done. It has been since February of 2019 that I've had a haircut and even longer since I've had my hair dyed. And if you guys know, 2020 has been crazy. I don't even know how many gray hairs I've gotten this year. So it's time, it's time. So I am adding a beauty envelope, which is hilarious, because if you see my Instagram stories, you know that that's like the last thing I spend money on. But it's time, it's time to spend a little money on me. Here is the new beauty envelope we are introducing into the family. 
Whoop, whoop. $35. There we go. As you guys can see, I didn't even put a beauty category on here this month. So, cause that's how last minute it was, but that's okay. Beauty envelope and all the other cash envelopes are done and stuffed for the month of September. And then the next part of my video, I just wanna show you guys kind of do a budget walkthrough of what we did with our excess money. Yeah, we had, after we paid everything off and stuffed envelopes, we have 1168.55 remaining, which is fan-freaking-tastic. I did just pay off my car. We did just pay off our appliances. Those were two huge payments. But yeah, so it feels really good to have some excess money this month for once. Since we are still saving up for Christmas and for new tires for my car, and we have to, obviously, December 25th, we have to have Christmas cash flowed by. And before winter hits, we need new tires for my car, like for sure. We have decided to pause our debt, any extra debt payments until those two sinking funds are fully funded. So that's paused. Our kid's birthday fund is fully funded. My sister-in-law's wedding fund and all of the festivities and presents and hotel room and everything like that is also fully funded because we're going to be getting a hotel room for that night. Uh, tires for my car. So we're pausing that because we want to focus on Christmas. We have decided to also bulk up our emergency fund um, just because we feel comfortable. This year has been absolutely insane. So we just want to start bulking up our emergency fund slowly but surely. So with this 1168.55, we decided to put 600 to Christmas, which means our Christmas fund is now halfway fully funded. Yay. And 568.55 into our emergency savings. And I'll just take you guys over to our visual sinking funds chart. So again, birthdays fully funded, weddings fully funded. Um, tires, we have a little bit in there, but still a long way to go for new tires for my car. And Christmas is halfway there. Sorry, this is a mess. Well, first off, this whole thing's a mess, but I still like having a visual. These are all digital sinking funds that we have at our credit union, which are great, but I do like to kind of see where we're at when I'm doing the budget. And I don't, sometimes you just don't like to log into your phone. You know what I mean? You just like to have all the information right there. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just hate being on my phone. Like having a visual chart that I can kind of see and go, oh, we only have this many more blocks to fill out. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is about pencil and paper, but then again, I'm old. Um, as you guys can see the green, really, our green highlighter needs to be replaced, yowzas. But yeah, that's where we're at on our sinking fund goals for 2020. Christmas is gonna be here in like four months, yowzas. And then I will go ahead and put these things back into my budget binder, which I will link my budget binder tour here um, in case you haven't seen that yet or are curious about what is going on in my budget binder. All right guys, that's a wrap. Cash envelopes are stuffed, sinking funds are, are updated. September 2020 budget is here and hopefully we go under budget this month. Hope you enjoyed this September 2020 budget video and stuffing cash envelopes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.